Hello children, our next lesson today is finding the area of triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids using square centimeter and square meter. Are you ready again? Let's go and start learning. Stay focused. Before we take the area of a parallelogram, let's first find out its base and height, a parallelogram has the same properties as a rectangle, they have two pairs of parallel sides. The area of a parallelogram is the space enclosed by two pairs of parallel lines. A rectangle and a parallelogram have similar properties, and therefore, the area of a parallelogram is equal to the area of a rectangle with the formula base times height, or in a rectangle is length times width. Let us assume that the length of the side of each square unit is 1 cm. Finding the length of the base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5 cm and the height is 1, 2, 3, and that was 3 cm. 5 cm times 3 cm equals 15 square cm, Therefore, the area of the parallelogram is 15 square centimeters. Let us check if our answer is correct, by counting the square units of the parallelogram. So that we can count it properly, let's make the parallelogram a rectangle by moving the remaining portion which is a small right triangle from its right to its left. Aha! It has now become a rectangle. We can now count the number of square units properly and clearly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And our answer is correct, there are 15 square centimeters enclosed by the parallelogram. Multiply the base by the height, and then divide by 2. The division by 2 comes from the fact that a parallelogram can be divided into two triangles. Let's go and take the area of the triangle. By finding its height is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The height is 5 cm and the base is 1, 2, 3. 3 cm are there. Let us now multiply 5 times 3 equals 15, divided by 2 equals 7.5. Therefore, the area of the triangle is 7.5 square centimeters. To check if the answer is correct, let us make the triangle a rectangle by adding another equivalent triangle as shown. Let us now count for the square units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 15 square units divided by 2 equals 7.5 square units, and our answer is correct. A trapezoid is a four-sided figure with one pair of parallel sides. For example, in the diagram to the right, the bases are parallel. To find the area of a trapezoid, take the sum of its bases, multiply the sum by the height of the trapezoid, and then divide the result by 2, divided by 2 because when you double a trapezoid you produce a parallelogram. Let us now solve by finding first the length of the base 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it's 8 cm, while the base 2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's 4 cm. And lastly, 
the height which is 1, 2, 3, 3 centimeters. Let us now solve for the area, 8 centimeters plus 4 centimeters times 3 centimeters equals 36 square centimeters divided by 2 equals 18 square centimeters. Therefore, the area of the trapezoid is 18 square centimeters. To check it clearly, we will make the trapezoid a rectangle by transferring the small portion of the trapezoid which is a right triangle to the right to form a rectangle. Then, we can now count the square units properly and clearly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And our answer is correct, there are 18 square centimeters are there in the trapezoid.